Holmes here with another top 10 as to why it's great to be an entrepreneur in 2016. Number one, the YouTube platform is dope. Number two, Facebook is also dope. Twitter, I'm using up all the social media, so just social media in general. Twitter, Vine, Facebook, Snapchat. There's a five, there's some really five good ones at the end. Um, YouTube itself. Um, next one. 3D printer is becoming affordable. That's the big thumb right here. So if you're an entrepreneur in 2016, it's pretty cool because if you do something that's like, say, a small, if you make a small design, you can prototype that with a 3D printer super easily with um, like SolidWorks or any any 3D drafting software. So everything's digital, which is awesome. You don't have to super independent for research and design. Um, it's awesome. Um, you have examples everywhere of like just tech companies starting up out of dirt that aren't like funded like old school like by some weird criminal organization. Governments too. Uh. So to wrap it up, what I think is great about 2016 is for entrepreneurs is your entire design process <clears throat> from drafting to prototyping and patenting is easier with online services than it was in the past um, is affordable now it's plausible you don't have to be like the machine shop guy who has fabrication skills as well um, and then for all this is thanks to the internet so I guess the main moral of the story why it's great to be an entrepreneur in 2016 is because we protected net neutrality net neutrality for the time being it's good to mispronounce the things you aspire to keep around. This has been on the Metric Films Top 10s. Keep designing. Show me your startup LLCs. Um, Cheeks Unlimited would probably be my first LLC I would name it after. Thank you. So my name is no longer Metric Films. I'm called Des Datna. Is my name Datna? This is my new name. But uh, let's fast forward. So it's 2017. I'm all uploading a entrepreneurial tutorial video from 2016 that is based on industrial engineering. And this following part is a compilation of when I was deciding on branding when YouTube was still relevant. So YouTube is not quite as relevant as it was then. Um, I have culinary training now, so let's check out the brand. I don't know, people found this part uh, relatively inspirational, but it's me doing branding meditations in my room alone. I mean... Yeah, so Metric Films is Datna, but it's me, Aaron, essentially. Um, yeah, Aaron is my main brand, but uh, YouTube's acting up, so... YouTubers care. This is a business to us, plus mainstream media. That's a buzzword, let's cut it back. Plus, it's easy to beat robots in suits that just uh, are handed talking points. YouTubers love. And that's why they look so depressed when they make shitty, shitty videos that they know are fake. Hmm. Soul Tran here, uh, commentary video. It's really actually a vlog. I guess I'm like going so multi pronged. We have the gaming channel, which will be literally everything esports, commentary, how to improve games for free to play, like how to interact with research and development, companies as a community. And get the stuff we want, maybe harken back to the original forming of League of Legends as a, a mod. Like, from the depths of troll, troll hell, the modder, the modder passes their blessing. Started this almost prematurely. Hey, people on the internet, what's up?
this is not a dating anything this is for my personal YouTube channel called metric films metric films and I want to see like how how useful is YouTube as like a platform of I guess targeting audience or not targeting audience but like lifescaping you know like surrounding people surrounding yourself with like-minded people and getting to know them effectively uh, via video sharing even across artificial geographical borders so yeah what's up everybody this is like my hey how you doing metric films hotline Emo video coming up next. Yes, but then an emo video. Remember, like Felicia Day says, you're never weird on the internet. <laughs>